Motivated by the sacred, yes. Good morning, good afternoon, all over the globe. <laughs> it is a good day in our neighborhood here in the high desert. I am Marva Greenleaf, standing next to Jude Bradley, Hello. who creates just amazing pieces of energetic art, usable art. Tell us what you're holding, Jude. Well, actually, this is one of my more simpler wands. I make magic wands. Um, this is my personal wand that I've used for years. This, uh, this piece of wood spoke to me in particular. I had honed it. I put the engravings on it, the wood-burning uh, symbols. The key symbols on the bottom here are what they call combination runes uh, for divination and speaking to the afterlife, which is a little area that I'm most interested in. This wand has been dipped in both oceans and many, many rivers and streams throughout the United States because whenever I travel, I take it with me because I think wherever you are, there is such a unique energy that can, can be absorbed within the wood and within the spirit. So this is what I use it for. And the waters, you know, calling myself a mermaid in the desert <laughs> and uh, realizing the importance of water, not only hydrating oneself with it, but using the cleansing, healing properties of the God-given divine waters all around the globe. Mm -hmm. And how wise of you to bring a little bit of that back with you simply by immersing well, water, I mean, in, in most cultures, water, of course, is essential. When you dream, and, the, and people who follow dreams and dream culture, water is actually the symbol of life. If you dream that you are in water um, and that you have no control or there's a storm raging or that you're battling, then usually inside, psychologically, and maybe in our spirit, we feel like we don't have as much control over our lives as we would like to. Mm -hmm. Well, the fine art of letting go and going with the flow and <laughs> working right. with our destinies, you know, <laughs> that the divine guidance, the divine timing, which really puts it into a magical journey, this yes. thing called life. I know that uh, kindness is where magic lives, so I do it through acts of kindness. Mm -hmm. It's also the generosity of spirit. But these symbols, these little uh, treasures from generosity stones, crystals, exactly. wood, it's all the elements mm -hmm. of earth. And when we learn to work with them and value all of the, the resources that we're given to cope. Exactly, exactly. It's not just coping. It's, it's actually getting to a place where you are recognizing that the energies that surround you are positive. They're there to help guide you through life. And when I work with counseling different people on a spiritual level, I tell them, you have to relax. I always imagine um, our energy field is like a cloak around us. And it's important for us to make sure the weave on that cloak is very open so that the energy can flow out as well as flow in. Mm -hmm. And when we're worried and we're concerned and we're not trusting people, we tighten that weave. And then we wonder why we feel bad all the time because this, this energy just keeps bouncing back and forth and it's ours and it becomes toxic. The most important thing in the world is to let go and relax and realize that every single thing that surrounds you every single day is there to help guide you on your journey. Mm, yeah, and especially when it's devastation. Mm. I, I've been through, um, I've had, oh, I get to practice resilience so often. <laughs> the Japanese say fall down seven, get up eight. So it's <laughs> not, like the, the, the falling down yeah. is inherent mm -hmm. in life. It's the getting up that's so mm -hmm. essential. And like anything with practice, it does get easier with practice. And each opportunity out of the ashes, we can grow something even more divinely suited to and our I, journey. I think one of the most important things about what you said, too, is there is no way to avoid falling down. That is part of the mix. Mm -hmm. It's part of what happens when we're here on this plane. Mm -hmm. And you will never learn anything by when things go well. Mm -hmm. And you will never recognize happiness if you have it all the time. Mm -hmm. You have to look at what's sustainable in life. And you can have an inner joy and contentment, and you can still relish in happiness when it comes and visits you, like the birth of a grandchild or the birth of a child or a wonderful wedding day. Well, see, that's the creative spirit, though, and I call it birthing babies in many ways. There you go. <laughs> so I know every wand is that's a baby amazing. for you. Yeah, there have been a few that I've made that it was really, really hard to part with. 
Mm-hmm. And, and yet I looked at it and I'd almost hear them speak to me and say, mm-hmm. I was made for someone else. Mm-hmm. And I will send it on down the line, as they say. Mm-hmm. Oh, we do and trust that it's, it's doing what we've, we've uh, infused in it. Those little seeds that we sprinkle like Johnny Apple seeds, just <laughs> toss them seeds out there and watch them flourish and connect the best of humanity all around the globe. Mm-hmm. Now, wands... And infusing it with the white light, yes. the ancestry knowing, the Wicca, the the crafting, the mm-hmm. witch crafting that so many of us um, have been disconnected from right. over the centuries and decades. The mm-hmm. shift toward um, uh, the, the matriarchy where the feminine is even more um, revered and turned mm-hmm. towards for guidance and for each and every one of us that are embodied in the female body we have the destiny of growing into our womanhood yes. so please and our wisdom and our wisdom mm-hmm. so please be the girl be the princess as you grow in to your womanhood and the queen that each of us are destined to be <laughs> and then the wise men that follow us yes absolutely we wouldn't do it's, it it's without our wise men um, one thing about you know wiccan tradition is um you know a lot of people go well there's one god there's one god the thing about the Wiccan tradition is we really do believe that there is the universal energy, but the god and the goddess are what we look to because mm-hmm. they are of equal power because one is no good without the other. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it, it really doesn't have anything to do with sexuality. It has ma- more to do with what that energy source is. It, is it a male energy, which is indicative of physical strength mm-hmm. and protection? Or is and it tangible the creation. There you go. To that, the masculine energy. However, when it's unbridled, is very destructive. It can be. And so <laughs> yes. we, we that's the marriage, the, the bride of it all mm-hmm. is the, the yin and the yang, the male and the female. It's, uh, it's the universal balance that we seek. And and every single religion has basically the same idea. I think a lot of people have a very negative attitude towards what they call witchcraft. And and I have to say Hollywood doesn't help. And we just saw the conjuring the other day. <laughs> oh, you saw the conjuring. Yeah. I can't do that. I don't. Life is scary enough. I don't pay for it. <laughs> well, the thing is, in, in Hollywood, they really do create a very frightening depiction of witchcraft. And witchcraft and Wiccan traditions is just like any other religion. There is a good side and a bad side. In Christianity, many Christians believe there is God and there is the devil opposing forces. That is what universe is all about. It doesn't mean that every single witch is mixing a cauldron and creating bad spells and Mm -hmm. trying to change other people's will because one of the most important things that we as witches and witch Wiccans um, must adhere to is we are not allowed to bend the will of others. Mm. And if you, and one of the universal rules is also if you act in protection of yourself and those you love, then you will be forgiven. Oh, the divine protection when you just are firmly planted in the light. There's so many benefits that grow us all well. A woman's worth, it, um, it's just coming home to yourself and, and it's such a, an appropriate, timely shift for mm-hmm. the greater good. Um, and I love combining forces, you know. Yes. I believe God heals the world two by two. And that's what takes me out into the world mm-hmm. so I can be encouraged and strengthened along the way. Yes, of course. Thank you, Jude. <laughs>